never seen my friend. Tell me that was in the script and I'd be safe. How are you, Alan? Great. Do you know, I've been stuck in all day, well, yeah. all weekend, so if I talk too much, I just want to interact with yeah. someone. <laughs> Did you have a lot of rain? Have you had a lot of rain where you were? Yeah, yeah, miserable. Unbelievable. Just stuck in watching Carry On films, so I'm so pleased to be here and <laughs> chat to you. Two. Dragged you out. Hey, congratulations as well. Oh, 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 you, oh, oh, oh. Uh, 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 you kept <laughs> it quiet, one, but you've got married to yes. lovely Paul. Yes, that's it. We went to mm -hmm. L.A. And it wasn't but, any old wedding. Hang on a minute now. Who planned the wedding? Tell everybody. It was Adele. Of course it was. <laughs> she, and she, you're not kidding, are you? No, no she, she planned it. it. It was in her back garden. And how, she, um, how did that come about then? How did she, she invite you to get married in her garden? I didn't win a competition. She's a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, but me and Paul, we scaled over the fence when she was out. <laughs> now, we've known her for ages and we told her she was getting married and she went, can I please plan the whole day for you? So she organised everything. She's the most kindest, sweetest, most generous person ever. She does it all at her house. We go in there, there's a grand piano, a man playing ordinary people and then she uh, then all sang. Um, sang our songs with the first dance. It was absolutely amazing. Oh. I could never repay her, but she's uh, she's just she's a one-off, as we all know. Well, she's just the best. I mean, so many questions. What's the garden like? What did you eat? But well, listen, I could sell all this to OK magazine. Yeah. Do you want to get? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think we can do that. We, we, we are moving on to beaches now, but we've got a lovely picture of you and Paul uh, doing a bit of a punch and Judy here. This oh, was yeah? Yeah, that was us in Mexico. Yeah, that, was your, yeah. that was your honeymoon. That's then. the only thing that could fit at the end of that, holiday, honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> well, well, this week... Chalet had an elasticated waist. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we're talking about the weather this weekend. If you did risk the weather and visit... A proper look. I get very excited about this oh, kind I of can thing. See, love. A proper <laughs> delve <laughs> through, and we can we can really understand yeah. and get to grips. This is with the point because it's evidence, isn't it? Yeah, when it's it there is. in front of you. Yes, yeah. it's really important data that we're getting. And um, on the 16th of April, when we bring that here, we've also got a, a special guest as well because we'll have the Environment Secretary himself, Mr. Michael Gove, mm -hmm. will be here mm -hmm. because I know people have got a lot of questions to ask him. And for example, last week he announced that we are bringing in a bottle deposit scheme for the UK. Mm -hmm. uh, which I think is great news. Yeah. So he'll be able to answer all those sorts of questions. Good. And good effort on Saturday. Thank but you. But in a way, it's just the warm-up, Alan. Just yes. the warm-up. Because just the, the big event is yeah. yet to happen. Yes, you've still got time to join in a beach clean because Lovely. the big spring beach clean <laughs> is from the 7th to the 15th of April. And this is so, so important. So um, Surfers Against Sewage, Keep Britain Tidy, the Marine Conservation Society, lots of different people get involved in beach cleans. Yeah. But these big beach cleans are where, as we say, we get all of this data. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, last year, they mobilised 17,000 people across the UK uh, and they collected 55 tonnes tons of plastic rubbish. So wow. we've, 55 yes, tons. We've, we've, it's huge, incredible, man. isn't it? Huge, yeah. I mean, it's an extraordinary amount of yeah, rubbish. Yeah. But we need to do better this year, so mm. let's try and get even more people mobilised on yeah. the beaches. Right. Alan on board? Yes, definitely. Uh, yes. Cause I, no, because on my last tour, I did an arena tour, and I made so much merchandise that didn't sell. Oh. Right. So oh. On, my, on my last tour, I said no, because but all this merchandise gets dumped everywhere, and I was watching Blue Planet, and I was dreading a bit of my merchandise floating <laughs> off. <laughs> you know what I mean? I do, yeah. I, an Alan Carr face mask, you know, <laughs> like Rizzy Carr for the whole neck. <laughs> but people... And you know what? I'm uh, being serious for a bit. It's like, you know... Sometimes you feel like you've got no control in life, yeah. but littering yeah. is one thing you can do today. Pick up that litter, make it a better place, especially yeah. where you live. You can just control, just control it. It's probably the one thing you can. Yeah, yeah I think, absolutely. But I think you're, the level of responsibility, like you're saying that about your merchandise, and mm. you know, if only all retailers felt the same. I think that shows an incredible level of responsibility. I commend well, you. Well, no for one that. would buy it to be fair. Well, you know, whatever the reason. I'm making out it was my choice, but people were like, no, they don't want it. But, but no, I see what you're it's saying. Really important. Yeah, it's really True. important that we think yeah. about where things are going to go afterwards, yes. which is right. you know why we why we are bringing stuff here before it gets recycled, yeah. so that we can have a proper look at it. Now, Lucy. Yes. Even if you do the beach clean on, on Saturday, Friday night, you will be watching a new show, I'm guessing. Yes, that's right. And it's on 8 o'clock, Channel 4, and it's a brilliant premise. Really good, yeah. isn't it? Now, yeah. you just explain, because lots of people will think, oh, four-day weekend, this weekend, brilliant. Yeah. But these people competing are competing for a complete year off work. Yeah, what happens is you get your year off, 
and Channel 4 pay for your salary for a whole year. But for in order to get that, you've got to send your email off at the end of the show to your boss. Yeah. So you have to mean it. Yeah, you, have to you be don't ready get the money resign. in your account. So that's what was really great about it, because some of these uh, emails were like, oh, thank you so much, but boss, but, you know, I've been with you for so many years, but I've got to make this change, I've got to change my life, you know, and then there's some of them are like, <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And you have a studio audience with yep. their resignation letter. And they all turn up. And yep. they're all from different... Oh, obviously, yeah. you've got nurses in there, nurses, you've got architects... You've got, you you know, realise how prejudiced you are about on. people's jobs. Like, you know, cos, you know, and at the end, it's like you know, someone who works in an abattoir and a vivisectionist up against a carer and a nurse. And, you know, you want, like, the nurse to win. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no offence, well, but you do... No offence if there's anyone here who works in Well, the first in thing you have to do is get those contestants from the audience yeah. down on... Mm. To the studio floor, and yep. you have got some mad ways. Well, they get them, they get them all off the internet. Um, <laughs> people, uh, how they waste their time in the factories. And then I was one. You know, they tie you. They tied me to an office chair. You know, with leaf blowers like that, yeah. and on full spin. And I was whizzing round. They put me in a cement mixer, but because of my back fat, I got stuck in. <laughs> oh. And honestly, I had a purple mark around. Honestly, yeah. and that because I rotated. Yeah. Well, we're now going to. See you in a plastic box. Yeah. Oh. Office bowling. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Amanda, we're going to take it in turns to slide down in that tub, yeah? Under the Skittles are every audience member's number. Okay. Whatever number the marker on the front lands on is selected. Okay, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> ready? Okay, go, go and push me. Oh, not ready. No, no, no. <laughs> That's how you choose your contestants on our show. Yeah, that, it didn't look that scary, but that was like the jump. <laughs> the jump. It was. It was terrifying. It was terrifying. But you said you'd never do a game show. I think you even said on here, I'd never do a game yeah. show. Yeah. But here you are doing a game show. But I love the idea of it. I mean, who yeah. doesn't? But, you know, and there is a... I know it's a fun show, and but there is a real sinister undertone to Well, it. especially if, when it comes on television, bosses will see their employees yeah. sitting in your audience thinking, that I person wants yes, to leave. Yes, I never thought of that, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but, well, you yeah. Realize, but you realise, so many people don't want to be in their job. People are turning up every every record trying to get out of their job. It's like, hello, Val, all right, love you. Yeah. <laughs> Still work down and the you, tip, yeah. You've had quite a few jobs, haven't you, in your time? Oh, I've done everything. Driver's out. mate, I've yeah. been, I've swept up in uh, factory. Um, a call centre. I don't work. call centre. Oh. oh, horrible, and it battery chicken, and that's how you feel like battery chicken. <laughs> and then I left, I left, because they said when you go to the loo, you have to put in. Per cord? Yes. Yes. Yeah, ironically, in a logbook. <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> But listen, but you know, <laughs> we had to change a bit on air because we changed it to Alan Carr's triple pay for a day because right. people, when they weren't getting through the final, were visibly upset. You know, mm. you've got people who want to spend time with their grandkids. You but what, what is lovely is you, you, throughout the show, you do these little hits where you give people really heartfelt gifts as well. It's lovely. And you can see the show. Uh, it's on 8 o'clock, Channel yep. 4. Love it. Is. So it's an entertaining show, but as you said, what underpins it is this need for people to change their situation, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, well, we're now going to meet three people who have done this for real. Itching to make out, because I told him not to, that Betty Boop is normally in the nasty. I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you, um, you are a bit of a dog whisperer, because you did uh, Crufts Extra this yes, year. Yes, I you? know. I mean, learning curve like that. I mean, you did yeah. live telly. I mean, th these are so amazing. But me doing live telly with <laughs> dogs, and their dog ran off. <laughs> the dog ran I had a whole list of interviews. And then I had to do um, an assault course with the dog. Yeah. But the dog was Dutch and didn't know what I, anything I was saying. <laughs> so if you try, say, try and see it and well, all that... Well, I can imagine. Yeah. The dog wasn't bilingual. No. Well, have, you... another, have another go with your dogs go and see if you can get them to I do something. I have to go this here. high, though. <laughs> Joyce! <laughs> Joyce, Beth! <laughs> biscuit. Biscuit. Now, if we, <laughs> if, we, if we press this, it releases a treat. Should That's we try it, that? To be fair, it yeah. might have frozen. Oh, no, the treat. No, the no, treat's come up. there. So okay. this is an amazing little gadget. Then, then I go um, like that. Oh. oh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah. What were you it? saying about live telly, oh, no. What were you yeah, saying look, about look. live telly? Is that it? Hang on, the dog's moving. Oh, the dog's on, hang the on. The dog's... There you go, is that now? Is that there, there, there's the treats going. The treat! <laughs> 
Come on, Bev. 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 Joyce. <laughs> Good tree. Well, if you've just joined us here on BBC One, popping uh, the chicken, popping the chicken. Alan's dog. Look at the dog. Live. The dog's going. What the hell is going on? Bev. Joyce. <laughs> look. 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 No. This is like it's one fine. of the sections it's... of your game show, Alan. <laughs> 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 oh, look, no! Hey! Oh, yes! There you go. The treat has landed. Look at that. I'll give him another one, cos she's a good girl. Oh, Sorry. It's my, it's my Richmond sausage fingers. Keep sending it. You're going to email them now. Oh, no, there's... Oh, 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 there, look, look. Oh, oh gorgeous. Oh, oh there's there Joyce, 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 get the treat! It's happened. You see, if you wait there long you enough... There you go. Look at that. I'm just trying to knock that Betty Boop statue off. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, although modern crime is increasingly committed uh, online,